in our neighborhood. <laughs> I don't know. Probably not. Anyway, Kevin <laughs> Robinson is here. We've got other things at hand and the radar. <laughs> uh, pretty active, but not nearly as active as it was, uh, say, two, three hours ago. I just think that means a higher bill for you. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Always. I don't think it, always, right? It's not think. It is, Kevin. <laughs> all right. So the good news here tonight is that, well, we're going to sleep easy tonight because now the threat for severe weather is over. Fortunately, the storms were moving so fast that they got out of here two hours faster than even anticipated. So you can go to bed without having to worry about getting awakened overnight by severe weather. Not to say that you might not still hear a distant rumble of thunder or two at least a little bit longer. Here's how the radar is faring tonight and shaking out a lot less red on the map. There's still plenty of orange and yellow, and that's indicative of some heavy rainfall around the area. But look at that. Look, that's the line in two hours, two and a half hours. This line of storms raced across the entire viewing area from southeast Indiana all the way down into central Ohio. That's what we were tracking earlier. And there's the part of the line that brought severe weather to the south and east of us. So things are quiet now around the rest of the area. There's still some rain falling, though, especially through parts of Adams into Brown Highland counties on up here into Clinton counties, Warren counties, Butler County still raining. It's still raining around the 275 loop. And again, I can't rule out, you know, a rumble of thunder left over in this before the night is over. But any severe weather has come to an end. And then in the southern parts of our viewing area, still tracking some leftover showers for these folks. So there's the big squall line of storms that came through with embedded small spin up tornadoes on the line of storms. Let me show you the big picture because check this out. How much wind energy was in the actual atmosphere? Look at this right here. Here's the line of storms right now, basically near Columbus, Ohio. The actual cold front itself it's just now moving into Indianapolis, so that's how fast the line of storms was moving. It has well outrun the cold front, but the good news is that our atmosphere is so worked over that when the actual cold front pushes through, the only thing that happens, we will see winds kick up again overnight tonight. So you can hear those winds outside while you sleep, but they won't be of the severe variety out there. Here's some of the damage reports from outside earlier this afternoon, and you can see here there's a swath one across our southernmost communities, including part of a home blown into the road there in Owen County. I distinctly remember seeing one of the circulations tighten up in the extreme southeastern corner of Owen County and then as it crossed into Grant County and then eventually headed on over towards Brooksville and Augusta. And then we had an actual confirmed tornado just outside of Ripley County. And then in this segment of the line of storms, we had reports of some wind damage with tree branches down and such across the northern parts of our viewing area. So this powerful spring storm drives the cold front through tonight. Winds get a little blustery at times while we sleep and then rain fades into the overnight hours. But the windy weather sticks around through our Thursday. It's still going to be blustery tomorrow, especially the first part of the day. And right now it looks like it will be cooler by the time we get to our Easter weekend. So it's 59 degrees outside here in Cincinnati. So far today we've picked up over an inch of rainfall, so we've had a good soaking throughout the day today. Temperature wise, most of us are right around 60. We're rain cooled back close to that 60 degree mark. Let me show you the next few hours. Temperatures will drop while we sleep. Look at this. After midnight, we head down into the 50s and then before morning we get down into the mid 40s around here. Show you future casts. The rain continues for several more hours. Here comes the cold front 2 3 AM. Again, I can't rule out a rumble of thunder steel. And then by morning we're into sunshine and the rain is a long distant memory. Beautiful Thursday, just a little breezy at times. Tomorrow night gets chilly Thursday night into Friday morning and then Friday right now should be a nice day with a decent amount of sunshine. Some clouds in there with temperatures close to 70. So quieter tonight with the rain fading, windy and cooler by morning. We'll get down to about 45 tomorrow, 63, partly cloudy, breezy and nice. Here's a look at your day planner. Temperatures start out in the 40s and they'll climb in the afternoon into the low 60s. Here's your seven day forecast. All right, 72 on Friday, 62 on Saturday, 50s on Easter Sunday. That's what I mean by a little cooler. There is a shower threat Sunday night that should come after any Easter egg hunts, and we'll keep an eye going into the weekend. There's a hint that there may have to be a shower threat in there Friday night into Saturday, but right now we're going to hold it basically till Sunday night and then going into early next week. All right, Kevin, thank you.